Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Risi Manaig and today's video is just gonna be a short one basically. I'm just I'm gonna explain to you what happened if you are experiencing cold spots when you are doing a sublimation with your HTV Ron automatic heat presses. So this is what I'm trying to show you. So I was in the middle of doing an order and suddenly I experienced this. So if you will see, there are a little bit of white spots in the middle and some here at the bottom. It, it means that there was not enough heat in that specific area. So I've been contacting HTV Ron and they told me that since HTV Ron heat press, it doesn't have um, a manual adjustment for your pressure what basically they told me is to get another heat press mat if you purchase your htv ron automatic heat press from htv ron directly you can approach them and request for a free heat press mat because it's a little bit of a glitch with the equipment since you cannot adjust it it's automatic adjustment but then are experiencing these kind of troubles with your uh, heat press so if you will see there's a little bit of cold spot right there and this one was actually even worse don't mind this that was my mistake but this one was really like showing off there's like cold spots in the middle and I actually did waste a lot <laughs> of mouse pad when I was doing this project and a little bit so i actually tried to move it a bit but i don't think that's really a solution i was trying to move it around the pad or like the heat press so that it will be able to like eventually balance out or equalize the heat from the substrate but actually i don't recommend it because when you open and then close the heat press it will actually it's gonna try to move you will see there's like ghosting so i don't really recommend doing that so if you do have a htv on heat press just approach them message their support and they will provide you a free heat press map so all you have to do is email them if you did purchase from Amazon, I'm not sure if they would be able to provide you a free mat. But you can give it a try and always try to message their support. And they will try and help you the best way they can. So I'm just going to show you my heat press. It's actually right over here. So now I have two mats now. So this was the old one and this is the new mat that they provided me. So that was the solution they offered me. Is if you're experiencing cold spots in your substrate, it means that there's not enough pressure from your HTV run. So yeah, so I've been I don't really want to ruin any other substrate, so I will try to keep it like this. Because I remember I did a tote bag and there was a little bit of cold spots there. It wasn't that visible, but it's not really pretty with that. So I am going to keep to have two heat pads now from now on to make sure that the, the substrate is getting enough heat and uh, pressure and heat from the heat press. So there you have it this video is just gonna be short that's all i need to say yeah so basically just reach out to them and they will give you a free heat press mat so if you're experiencing that troubles the cold spots such as this so there's a solution for it you don't need to panic you don't need to go buy a new one always just reach out with the support get a new mat there's other solutions for that but if you're using another different heat press, I've been doing my research and some of the companies, they said that if you are experiencing 
cold spots it's time to buy a new one but i actually resisted in buying a new one that's why i tried to research and try to find a solution because heat press is not cheap but it's 300 to 500 dollars depending on the type of brand that you have right so you'll try your best to figure out how or if there's any way that you can do to salvage it you will so in this case that problem is solved all the sublimation projects that i've been doing are pretty much good now so that's the solution to the problem no more cold spots for me uh, so if you like this video please share and subscribe so that i can make more tips and tutorials for you bye